I'm gonna truly understand something forever. So I feel like it is important to involve you guys here because of course your heartbeat will go faster. You will feel certain pressure and discomfort, but that's what propels you to grow, right? So one thing I wanna do right now, and that's gonna be very uncomfortable for some of you, is I would like to push your comfort zone. And this is something that I sometimes do on stages. This is a variation of one of those tools. So in a second, I'm gonna walk around, which I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna look at you, and I wanna sense who needs something like this, who still feels uncomfortable about getting to the stage. And I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick 11 people, 11 people. And uh, it doesn't matter if you sit far away. I can see a small stage, I can see. <laughs> So I'm gonna pick 11 people, and each one of you will come up to the stage. We just have, I think, three mics. So we will just share the mics, and we will do an exercise. I'm gonna tell you what you have to present on. I'm gonna give you a topic, each one of you. And then the moment you get a topic, you have 30 seconds to present on it. And some of them are really tricky and related to trading. So let me, ah, okay, I've got some people already. And I'm gonna, <laughs> I want to keep the pressure, so I'm going to announce the people at the same time in a second. Just, all right. All right, ready? It's going to be, I'm kidding, I'm not going to do it. I'm kidding, guys. I'm not going to pick anybody, all right? I'm not going to do anything. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so, so the question is, why this crazy guy is doing this? Why am I fucking around with you like this? Right? Why, why? You mean, <laughs> it is funny, right? It's funny. I told my girlfriend before, I said, hey, I'm gonna do this. She said, oh, it's gonna be funny just for you. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's gonna be valuable because, um, so I'm curious, how did it feel? How did it feel? Especially those of you guys who are sitting in the front. I mean, I was looking at you guys, but you could at least like break the eye contact with you guys. I was looking at you. Some of you, I was like literally, bam, looking right into your eyes. How did it feel? You don't need a mic, you can shout out. How did it feel? Not me, not me. Not me, <laughs> you're, you're so all right. What else? Nervous. Nervous, okay. Tell me about some of the feelings you felt in your body, some of the physical responses. Heartbeat faster, right? <laughs> right? Sweating. I can't imitate sweating now. <laughs> All right, sweating. Cool. What else? What else? What else did you feel? The butterflies in your stomach, right? Oh, sorry, breathing, you said? Oh, that's smart. Okay, that's smart. So you're already ahead of the game. So you're already controlling the heartbeat. That, that's really cool. We're going to talk about it. Uh, how many of you felt that you started breathing much faster without control? Anybody here? You felt like... <laughs> Come uh, on, this, you, you felt it, right? All right, cool. What about, sorry? I wasn't breathing at all. Actually, this is very common. This is why so many people pass out. I mean, right before important. For me, it, for it, it happens a lot, you know, people when they do important things, they, it happens that they literally pass out, they forget to breathe. So that's a big one. So I wanna ask you now, um, what about your internal dialogue? What did you feel inside of your brain? You are preparing. Yeah. So you're just prepping. So prepping. What would you be doing, or, or how? Would... Just like how would prepping. I yeah, like how to handle it. Where I stand up. Like okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you were getting ready. How how were you getting ready? What were you doing? Mentally visualizing myself up on the stage, looking at how I was. Cool. So he was mentally visualizing himself on a stage. You ahead of the game as well. Great stuff. So. <laughs> So I'm doing this because um, I want you to get familiar with this feeling. Because look, I could just talk about fear. But if you just sit there comfy and we talk about fear, you may not truly get into the topic, but now I have your attention, right? <laughs> and now we know what we are talking about. And the reality is that this is public speaking, but this relates to life in many different ways. Whatever you will do in your life that's a little bit scary, you will feel very similar responses, right? Heart beating faster, sweating, negative internal dialogue. So one interesting thing about fear is that the responses you get in your body, the response of anxiety, is actually very similar to excitement, right? So think about it for a moment. So how do you feel when you feel excited? 
Heart is beating faster. Yeah? Okay? You're sweating a little bit. Yeah? You have thousands of thoughts in your mind. Super similar. It's almost the same thing. What is the difference between anxiety and excitement? Anybody would like to share? What was the difference? Pain and pleasure. Okay. The mindset. The mm mindset. -hmm. Cool. Anybody else? Internal dialogue. Okay, so what's the difference in internal dialogue? I would say that in... Putting on a spot, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feeling the pressure. Um, so from a fear perspective, I'd say there's a lot of negative, di uh, negative in a dialogue. Yeah. Whereas from excitement, you're positive and you're thinking about the results and how you're going to benefit from the situation. So it's much more positive in a dialogue. 100%, exactly, yeah. So I was about to say, um, the difference is that when you are anxious, you feel all of those body new reactions, but you assume that it's not gonna go well. Now when you are excited, you don't even think about the outcome. You just wanna be in the flow, you wanna be in the zone, right? Now I am excited. I, I'm not even thinking, oh, I have another 20 minutes, what if this happens or that happens? Now if I started thinking about it, then maybe some dark thoughts could pop into my mind. So this is the difference, and this relates to anything in life. So what I would say is the first way to control your fears in the moment is that instead of just run away from them, right? Instead of assuming that the fear is not there, pretending, trying to, trying to suppress it, you gotta acknowledge it, right? You're afraid of something, don't run away from the feeling, ask yourself, what do I feel? Okay, okay, cool, it's beating, great. You know, it's pumping more blood, I need it. I'm breathing faster, I'm getting more oxygen, I'm getting ready to fight, right? So you get familiar with the feelings, you embrace self-awareness, right? And that's when you strip the fear um, from its power. So let me show you a story. I'm gonna show you a story that's uh, pretty interesting. Many of you may be thinking, no way this happened, but it is a true story. So many years ago when I was a student, by the way, I was studying at the same university with Ips, uh, so uh, yeah, that's how we know each other many, many years.